The natural world is full of many strange and mysterious sounds, some of which seem like they belong on a different planet. Animals use sounds in many different ways, from communication to echolocation and even as a weapon. For most prey animals, it's important to be quiet so that you can avoid the attention of predators, but some animals need to be loud to find a mate or to find their herd. In today's video, I'll be focusing on only the loudest animals in the world, and I will be ranking them from quietest to loudest. Unfortunately, precise, reliable data is very hard to come by when recording wild animals, as it's impossible to ask an animal to try and make the loudest sound that it can. And of course, some animals are skittish, and it's very hard to get accurate recordings of these animals. I have also grouped a few closely related animals together in this video, as they only had a difference of a few decibels, and I'd be repeating a lot of the same points over and over. With that out of the way, we can take a look at our first animal, and to find it, we'll be heading over to South America. The white bellbird is in a family of birds that are known for being very colourful, but as you might be able to tell by this image and by its name, the white bellbird is mostly white. It's found in the rainforests of northern South America, and it spends most of its time looking for fruit to eat. The males have a strange appendage on their heads called a wattle, and most of the other birds in its genus also have strange head and neck gear. Bellbirds are called so because of their extremely loud calls, and they need to be loud so that they can travel far and penetrate dense forests. The males use this call to attract and woo mates, and there aren't many other birds that can make a similar sound. This impressive call can be as loud as 125 decibels, and it's claimed by many to be the loudest bird in the world. As you'll see a little later in the video, this may not be the case, but it's still an extremely impressive animal. The white bellbird slots in at number 10 on the list, and for our next animal, we can head over to the coasts of the northeastern Pacific. The northern elephant seal is one of two elephant seal species, with the other being the southern elephant seal. The southern elephant seal is larger, but the northern elephant seal is the louder of the two. Both elephant seal species display extreme sexual dimorphism, with the males being much larger than the females. Unsurprisingly, the males are the loudest sex, and they make their loudest sounds to attract mates and to scare off rivals. Elephant seal battles can be very violent, and the victor gains the right to breed with all of the females. This is why it's very important for them to intimidate rivals and communicate that they are the boss, and their giant proboscises allow them to make some pretty strange sounds. Some of their calls sound like low clicks, and others almost sound like burps. <laughs> The females also make different kinds of strange sounds, and their noises are so distinctive that they have been used in films and TV shows. Their calls were used in the Lord of the Rings trilogy for the Orcs, and they were also used in Jurassic Park and How to Train Your Dragon. These sounds are not only distinctive as they are also very loud, and their loudest calls can reach around 131 decibels. This means that the northern elephant seal slots in at number 9 on this list, and I really hope that they were paid well for the many Hollywood films that they were featured in. The kakapo is one of the strangest and most lovable birds in the world, and this is mainly because of their big personalities. Because they evolved without land mammals, they can appear to be fearless, and they're also quite clumsy and chubby birds. In one very famous video on the BBC YouTube channel, one kakapo tried to mate with a zoologist's head, and he looked so happy doing so. Oh, Look, he's so happy. <laughs> this individual is called Sirocco, and he's a bit of a conservation superstar. You could argue that he's the Mu Deng of the kakapo world, as he's possibly the kakapo that most people became aware of, and he's made a lot more people care about his species. If you love the kakapo like me, then please donate to kakapo recovery, as they are critically endangered with only around 244 living individuals and they do need your help. As you might be able to see, the kakapo is quite a hefty bird, and over the course of its existence it has forgotten how to fly. It's the world's only flightless parrot, and it's also the world's heaviest parrot. They can live for up to 80 years, and during this time they can reach a maximum weight of around 4 kilograms. 
The way these beautiful birds mate is also quite bizarre, as it's the only parrot to have a polygynous lek breeding system. The males loosely gather in an area to compete with each other, and the females will choose a male based on what they have seen and heard. To attract the females, the males make an incredible booming sound, and in some cases they will do this for hours on end. It's crucial that this call travels far as they are so rare, and to make sure that this happens, their call is very loud. The kakapo's boom can reach 132 decibels, and this means that the kakapo is the loudest bird in the world and easily beats the white bellbird. The kakapo's boom slots them in at number 8, and hopefully they will be able to bounce back in the future. It's a well-known fact that bats use echolocation to find their prey and navigate their environment, but some species take this ability to the next level. It's hard enough to locate your prey when it's flying through the air, but it's a lot harder when your prey is underwater. The bulldog bats can be found in Central and South America, and they are two of only a few bats that specialise on targeting fish. In certain times of the year, they will target flying insects, but their preferred prey is small fish and crustaceans. They will usually forage for fish during high tide and they will locate them with echolocation. Their calls are so loud and powerful that they can penetrate the water, but they will also drag their feet across the water like other bat species. The lesser bulldog bat doesn't feed on fish as often, and it also has a quieter call. The lesser bulldog bat has a call that reaches around 137 decibels, whereas the greater bulldog bat has a call that reaches 140 decibels. Audio recordings of these bats are very hard to come by, but it's likely to be similar to other bats in the area. The bulldog bats are fit for number 7 on this list, and if you're a fish, these creatures are your worst nightmare. Howler monkeys seem to have a name that's perfectly suited for this video, and if you're in their native habitat, you're more likely to hear them than you are to see them. There are 15 different howler monkey species alive today, but the black howler monkey is one of the largest and it's also the loudest. This species is found in Central South America, and it spends most of its days feeding on large amounts of fruits. This howler monkey also goes by the name of black and gold howler, as it does display sexual dimorphism, with the males being totally black and the females and juveniles being gold. They do have to look out for certain predators such as jaguars, pumas and harpy eagles, but this doesn't stop them from letting every animal know where they are. The call of the howler monkey can travel up to 3 miles, and they use this call to let others know where their territory is. The black howler is the loudest land mammal, as its howls can be as loud as 142 decibels. This means that the black howler slots in at number 6, and for our next group of animals we'll be heading into the ocean. Just like bats, dolphins are known for using echolocation, and they are among the most interesting sounding mammals. They use different frequency clicks to help them navigate their environment and to help them find their prey, and in one very famous case, they could even imitate human sounds. You can read more about it in this Wikipedia article, but I do warn you, it's one of the strangest stories that I've ever featured on this channel. It includes one lady that was way too close to her dolphin, LSD, and a tragic death. Thankfully, the research stopped after this story, and today most dolphins just make dolphin sounds. Two of the loudest dolphin species in the world are the bottlenose dolphin and the Atlantic spotted dolphin. These two species both use their clicks in similar ways, and they also seem to communicate with one another. The Atlantic spotted dolphin often forms groups of 5 to 15 dolphins, and they will sometimes form these groups with bottlenose dolphins. They will coordinate their movements with one another, and this allows them to easily outsmart their prey. This could mean that the two species are able to understand each other's vocalizations, but they could also be reacting to the body language too. Bottlenose dolphins in different parts of the world have different vocalizations and behaviors, so it's possible that a dolphin from one part of the world would not be able to understand and cooperate with a dolphin from a different part of the world. 
Because their clicks have to travel very far through water, they are very loud, and the clicks of both species max out at around 163 decibels. This impressive sound means that they are fit for number 5 on this list, and they are arguably the most intelligent animals in this video. There are three species of right whale alive today, and each of these species are found in different parts of the world. Unfortunately, the North Pacific right whale and the North Atlantic right whale are listed as endangered and critically endangered, as they were hunted to near extinction before whale hunting was banned. Today, they are still threatened by climate change and human activities, and this is a real shame as they are among the most interesting whales. Some believe that these beautiful creatures should be renamed, as their name was first given to them by whalers. They were considered the right whales to hunt because they yielded large amounts of oil, and they floated to the surface when killed. These gentle giants mostly feed at the surface, and they filter out tiny invertebrates from the water. This diet helps them to reach some pretty impressive sizes, as the largest species, the North Pacific right whale, maxes out at around 18.3 meters long. All three species of right whale are able to create loud songs, but it seems as though the North Pacific and North Atlantic right whales are the loudest. The right whales have to be so loud so that their songs can travel long distances, and the ocean is an incredibly noisy place. Marine biologists have discovered that their songs get louder when the background noises are louder, so in an increasingly noisy ocean some new records might get set. Right whale songs max out at around 182 decibels, and their song is definitely one of the more powerful sounds in this video. The right whale's song slots them in at number 4, and hopefully they will be able to bounce back to their pre-whaling numbers. The blue whale is the largest animal alive today, and it's one of the largest animals to have ever existed. They can be found almost all around the world, but strangely we still know very little about their lives. They are known to hybridise with the closely related fin whales, and even though they are the largest animals on earth, they are not safe from the orca. Like the right whales, they are filter feeders, and they feed almost exclusively on krill. When they aren't feeding on krill, they like to communicate with one another, and they produce some of the loudest and lowest frequency vocalisations in the animal kingdom. Their songs vary greatly between different populations, and their inner ears are better adapted to hear lower frequency sounds. Their songs have been studied at great length, and the meanings behind some of their songs have been figured out. Some songs are only sung by the males, implying that they are only used for the purpose of mating. They are capable of making some of the most eerie and mystical sounds in the ocean, and you can hear them up to a thousand miles away. Their songs max out at around 188 decibels, and it must be an unforgettable experience to hear it in the wild. Even though their songs are beautiful, they only slot in at number 3, and surprisingly, our next animal is not a whale. There are over a thousand species of pistol shrimp dotted around the world, and these little crustaceans are capable of incredible things. Each species lives a slightly different life, but most pistol shrimp are able to kill their prey using their impressive claws. The claws of different species work in different ways, but as you might be able to guess by their name, some pistol shrimp use their claw almost like a gun by forcing water and gas out in a jet stream. Tiger pistol shrimp have some of the loudest and most powerful claws, but there's another pistol shrimp that's known for its power and its volume, and this species is the Pink Floyd Shrimp. This species is relatively new to science, as it was first described in 2017. This shrimp was named after Pink Floyd because of its bright pink-red claw, and also because it makes a sound by snapping its claws that can reach 210 decibels. This sound is so loud that it can actually kill nearby fish, and it's the only animal on this list that can kill with the sound that it makes. This has to be one of the most impressive ways to use a sound, but surprisingly, it's still only fit for second place. 
The sperm whale is the largest toothed whale, and it also possesses the largest brain in the world. The sperm whale's life is very mysterious, as they experience many things on a daily basis that humans have never experienced. To find their prey, they dive down to between 300 and 800 meters, but they are able to dive to up to 2 kilometers. This incredible ability is matched by no other mammal, and they dive to this depth to feed on giant squid and colossal squid. Unlike some other whales such as the humpback whales, they do not sing in the traditional way, as instead they choose to click and pop. These clicks are so loud that they can travel thousands of miles, and just like the dolphins, they use these clicks for echolocation. When diving into the dark depths, they use their clicks to locate giant squid, and their clicks get faster when they get closer to the squid. This must be an incredible hunt to witness, but unfortunately we may never be able to see the sperm whale in action. The sperm whale's clicks can reach 236 decibels, and this is the loudest sound created by any animal. This means that the sperm whale is fit for number one, as it's the loudest animal in the world. If you think there are any other animals that should have made it into this video, then let me know down in the comments below. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.